I think the wheels for me, it's the wheels that actually set it off. The Dimag wheels are so sick. Yo, what's going on? Another day on the job. If you are new to the channel, my name is Gav. Name of the business, RCL Motorcycle Transport. I do motorcycle collections, deliveries, and recoveries for a living. So if you do like what you see, hit the subscribe button. Give me a like on the video. So today, quite a busy day. First one, I've picked up a bad boy Ducati Monster for my man Sam. What's going on, sir? Yeah, boy. It's been sat for a little while, hasn't been used, but he needed it relocated. So he hit us up to get this one done. Two thousand and fourteen Ducati Monster, pretty much in stock form. But this bike is such a beautiful bike, and the credentials that come with this bike is nuts. If you ever see the mileage that's on this bike, it's crazy. For a two thousand and fourteen, it's pretty much on touch, man. It's pretty much on touch. So let's just have a quick look at this bike in detail because there's a few things that I've noticed on this bike that I didn't actually notice before. The first thing that I'm going to point out that Ducati done was that little detail there. This, I've never actually noticed that before, but things like that is what makes it what it is pretty much a Ducati. Um, so, yeah, here she is, man. 821 2014 Ducati Monster. Um, pretty much in stock form. Only a couple little mods that's on it. At the minute, what we can see, we got the Evotech Crash Protection, which is quite cool sticks out quite a bit so obviously if you do come off it then i can see it saving a lot on the bike which is a sick sick touch everything else is pretty much in stock form we got an rng tail tidy going on here um but yeah apart from that that's it really and then we've got the charger the trickle charger port that one that needs to be tucked away by the way um but yeah man look at her she's beautiful she's a bit dirty at the minute because she has been sat for sam said she's been sat for a few months i'd say maybe a year and that's pretty much it, man. So, yeah, here she is. 2014 Ducati Monster 821. This one's just been collected, like I said, for my man Sam. And it's been relocated for him. Little details like that. I love it, man. I love it. I love it. So, the Monster, it's not really something I personally buy. Because, if you know me, you know I'm not the biggest fan of a naked bike. However, I do definitely appreciate all the work that's been put into them. And this one is really a bit of art, man. I really do like this one. So let's have a quick look at what sort of mileage Sam's done on this bike. Because when he told me, I couldn't really believe what he's done on this bike. 280 miles from new. That's insane. That's insane. <laughs> but yeah, man, wicked. I think we're gonna fire her up see how she's sounding on the stock exhaust you want to fire up for me yeah, sam yeah. yeah let's fire up man hear what she's sounding like oh listen to that beautiful man even on the stock exhaust it still does sound sweet man Such a beautiful bike, man. And this bike is in absolute mint condition. Not a single scratch on it. It has been sat for a little while, so obviously there is dust, a couple of spider webs and all of that, man. But yeah, it's beautiful. But yeah, let's switch her off anyways.
next up we've got this little MT125 I've picked up and unfortunately the key snapped off in the disc lock so customer rang us up to pick this bad boy up it's going over to Tantra motorcycle so of course put the wheel into the dolly hook that up to the winch and then we're gonna use this bad boy and we're gonna drag it in So I've made it down to Tancho's and we got the MT125 in the van at the moment so we're just gonna get that one out and see what they gotta say. Pretty simple job, I'm not too sure exactly what else they gotta do on this one but I do know as you've seen before the key got stuck in the disc lock and it pretty much snapped off so it was either an angle grinder jobby which I ain't got an angle grinder I don't do that or we had it recovered so the customer decided to have it recovered to the boys over at Tancho can't even see you what's going on brother um and then yeah man we're gonna get this out and then yeah catch up with you lot soon so the MT125 just got it off over to the boys at Tancho they're gonna look after this customer so yeah on to the next man Just pulled up down to Woodford Yamaha where we're dropping Bills's big bad R1. Um, yeah, so it's pretty much just coming in for a couple of goodies. It's chucking it down outside, so there's very little I can see in the van. Saying that I do actually need to upgrade my lights in the van. But from what we can see, let's just have a quick look at this R1. There are many, many, many R1s on the streets, but there's not many R1s that you can actually compare to this one. He's gone all in. On this bike um it is a 2021 and the mods on this bike is absolutely ridiculous so let's just have a quick look at what he's done um, now where do we begin first up we got the mirror blank plates those are gillies nice 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 touch uh what else have we got on there we got the dimag wheels as you can see fully carbon both front and rear um what else have we got on there we got the brembo operated calipers we got the hell braided lines to match the bike. We've got domino grips to match the bike. We've got ASV levers to match the bike. Um, what else we got? Data tool, as you do. Obviously with these R1s, the suspension is quite good anyway. So pretty much I think that's why he hasn't done anything to the front forks. But yeah, sick, sick, sick. So we got the RNG crash protection, as you do. Front, mid and rear. So we got the front ones. We got the mid ones and of course we're doubled up on the rear what else have we got we've got uh well, i'm not too sure what sprocket that is uh i can't really see can't bend down right now either we've got the gold did chain like i said i'm not too sure what this that is what sprocket that is sorry um we got the galfa discs as well we got full acropovic we've got the olins race suspension i think i'm not too sure what model it is but i do know it's gonna be the best one that's on the market at the minute. Other thing that we've got, we've got the GB Racing Crash Protection, as you do. Um, we got the Gillies Oil Filler Cap. Uh, what else, what else, what else? I don't even know, man. The mods on this bike is absolutely insane. We got the carbon up here. What other carbon bits we've got? We got the carbon rear mud guard as well. Not too sure why he hasn't done the front. I'm pretty sure at some point that's gonna be done. Um, but yeah, man, that's pretty much it. It's such a sick R1. And again, the, I think the wheels for me, it's the wheels that actually set it off. The Dimag wheels are so sick. And I think wheels is something that's highly overlooked by a lot of riders. When you have good wheels on, it reduces the weight drastically. It makes the handling better. And the bike, it's, it just looks sick. Everything about wheel upgrades is sick. But like I said, it's highly overlooked by a lot of people. But anyways, like I said before, I'm on a bit of a time cap at the minute. 
So let's get this bad boy out. Cheers man, nice one.